Today I want to talk about ligatures in Glyphs app. Now these are super easy, but I think they add so much to your font. Um, I've just finished a font called Something New. It's available online. Uh, you can get it from Creative Market or My Fonts and a few other places as well. Um, there's links below if you want to go check that out. So yeah, what is a ligature? Basically a ligature is just the combination of two glyphs together and if you've got open type features turned on um, on your on like Illustrator or anything like that, um, you can have sort of force ligatures whereby if you say for instance type a TT together, it'll show the TT ligature, which might be a little bit different to just a standard TT. So you'll understand what I mean when we get into it. So let's get started. So this is my font, uh, something new. You can see all the all the glyphs uh, that I've got in there. And basically what I want to do is add a new glyph, which will be a Q, U, an uppercase Q and an uppercase U in a similar style to, uh, to these ones down here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start off by duplicating the Q and that's just Command D which gives us a new character. I'll select that one and I want the uppercase U as well, which is up here. Select both of those together and double click them and that'll open it up into a new uh, a new window. You can see I, I use loads of windows. So the U, I'd like to select all of that and in our new Q U ligature that we're going to make, I'm just going to paste it in. And the sidebar, and I'm going to give, uh, I'm going to take this one, which is half of H. So we'll copy that. Oh. Come on. So if we copy that and paste that into there, so we've got 30 points there. Go back to this. Copy the U, paste the U in. Make sure that I pick up the correct thing. I'm just going to scale this down to about there. So what I want this to do is kind of, instead of it being under slung, I want it just to, just to come from the U. Uh, this might look a little bit dodgy. But you'll get the idea. Oh, oh no, it does look. It looks funny. It looks a bit weird. But let's stick with it anyway. Just bring that U down a little bit just to scale it. Ah, oh, it's too. It's, it's too much. But the ligature is there. So the side bearings are all set. Now what we're going to do is go back to our font, so we can see it here. We've got a Q, uppercase Q, dot zero zero one. Now making this into a ligature in glyphs is extremely easy. All you've got to remember is to put on the end of this dot L I G A. So we've already got the dot L I G A, not in capitals. L I G A. And that is now a QU ligature. It's not a QU ligature until I've put, oops, QU. So making this Q underscore U dot L I G A means that Glyphs app knows that there's a ligature glyph in there which means that when once we um, run it through the information thing uh, in the features, it'll know to, to pick it up, which is a really nice feature in, um, in Glyphs app because in sort of other programs that I've used, you'd have to kind of manually type it in, doing all this kind of slight code, which is not what you want. You just want to be able to smash out a font, don't you? Okay, so, as you can see down here, we've got no ligature or no L-I-G-A uh, tag in the features. 
and it is as simple as pressing update and there you can see that ligature has been found substitute q u by q underscore u dot ligger which is that q u ligature cool and that is it that's basically it so what we'll do now is i'll export this install it properly run it into um, illustrator just to show you how it works so here we are i've just finished exporting it and i've reinstalled the font um, this is illustrator now and this is something new my new font so what we can do here is we're making sure that we've got the standard ligatures turned on in the open type features i'm just going to type out the q and u separately just so you can see those together and magically once we press q and the uppercase u together there you are you've got your ligature so that only works obviously if you've got the ligatures features turned on otherwise it won't um but there you go super see super super easy proper simple and it's just gonna add so much to your fonts it's really cool and to be fair like glyphs does most of the work for you ligatures and glyphs are super easy all you've got to remember is to make sure that you go through into that information panel and select them update it if you don't update it 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 won't work i've fallen foul of that a couple of times and you sort of pulling your hair out thinking what have i done um but yeah just make sure you update it uh, and export it so if you like this video don't forget to like and subscribe and ding that bell if you want some notifications of when i put up a new one um and i'll see you in the next one